Hey guys, it's me again. It's the OG. And guess what? I'm crazy. I'm doing some more stuff in basic. And um, I thought I would just do a few things that are kind of off book just to um, go over some of the topics we talked about in the last chapter, especially like chapter 11, dealing with strings and stuff. So I thought I would just create a cute little custom program just to give you a different way to apply those same concepts. So I'm going to be thinking out loud as I do this, but here's kind of what I think I'm going to do here. So we're going to start off by saying, okay, 10 print quote, what is, or we can do it as an input, right? So let's say input quote, what is your first name? Put a semicolon after there and we'll call this one F string. So that's your first name. Okay. 20 input quote, what is your middle name? End quote, put a semicolon, we'll call that M string. 30 input quote, um, quote, what is your last name? Semicolon, we'll call that L string. So we're gonna input an F string for the first name, an M string for your middle name, L string for your last name. Everybody with me? Now let's do some crazy math here real quick. Let's say that um, FL for first name length equals um, LEN left parenthesis F string right parenthesis. I'm really having a hard time with the keyboard so the left parenthesis is shift 8 and the right parenthesis is shift 9. It's kind of crazy. Colon is uh, I forgot where my colon was. My colon is over here. Colon is the dash, the minus sign. Okay, so first name length is equals the length of this. Middle length equals um, len shift eight m string shift nine. Okay, colon is the dash. Okay, and then uh, middle middle name length is that. And then um, last name length is going to equal the length of our L string, which is our last name. Bear with me as I'm doing this. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to input your first name that's stored in the variable F string. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to input your middle name that's stored in the variable M string, M for middle, F for first. Third thing we're going to do, input your last name, which is stored in L string, last name, L string. So now I'm going to grab the length of each of your names. Why? Because I'm going to do some fancy math and I'm going to tell you how long your name is. So uh, on line 45, I'm going to say full um, uh, name length equals uh, FL plus Where's my plus? F first name length plus middle name length plus last name length. That's my total name length. Okay. Now, why am I doing that? Because in line 50, I'm going to say print quote and quote is shift to your full name is, I'm going to do a space after that end quote, do a semicolon. Now I'm going to say F string. Uh, I have to do a semicolon quote, quote, space, quote, semicolon. That's going to put a space between the first name. I'm going to then print my M string for my middle name, semicolon, quotes, quote, space, quote, semicolon, and then last L string, which is shift two, shift two, shift, where's my strings? Where are my strings? Where is the string on the Coco keyboard? It's shift four. L string. Okay. So your full name is space semicolon. A semicolon makes things stick together and not space out too far. So I'm going to say your first name is space, then the first name string, and then sticking a space between there, putting in your middle name string, another space, your last name string. And then just for grins and giggles on line 60, I'm going to say uh, print quote, your full name contains um, semicolon and then NL semicolon um, space characters. Okay, so it's going to take the full name length of your first name, middle name, last name and count the characters. What's that going to look like when we run it? What is your first name? Steve. 
What is your middle name? Ray. What is your last name? Strobridge. Okay. Your full name is Steve Ray Strobridge. Your full name contains 19 characters. Kind of interesting, taking those things that we just did. So let's look at the program again. It actually still fits completely on screen when I list it. 10 says input what is your first name and stores that in a variable called fstring. 20 says what is your middle name and I forgot the E there and stores that in the uh, variable of mstring for middle name. 30 says what is your last name stores that in a variable of l strings. What I then did is I grabbed three variables to calculate the length of your first, middle, and last name. So FL for first length is the length of your first name string. ML for middle length is the length of your middle name string. And last LL for last name length is the length of your L string, which is your last name. And then your entire name length is the sum of your first name length, your middle name length, and your last name length added all those up and stored them in a variable called NL for name length. Then it says your first name is, and it prints your first name string, appends a space, prints your middle name string, appends a space, and prints your last name string. And then it says print your full name contains, and then it uses the numeric variable of NL, which is right here that we just created, characters. Now, what did I screw up um, when I was asking for line 20? So edit 20. Um, let's get over middle name uh, uh, insert E enter all right let's try it again what is your first name my first name is actually Stephen S-T-E-P-H-E-N Stephen what is your middle name Ray what is your last name Strobridge all right so uh, your full name is Stephen Ray Strobridge your full name contains 21 characters pretty cool um, what if I don't have a middle name? So let's run it again. What is your first name? Slim. What is my last name? Nothing. What is your uh, middle name is nothing. What is your last name? Shady. How do you spell Shady? S-H-A-D-Y. Okay. Your full name is Slim Shady. Your name contains nine characters. Now, I automatically put spaces in between a middle name that doesn't exist, so there's a double space in there. Can't really do anything about that. But, um, kind of cool right so let's go ahead and save this and we're gonna call this name game and we're gonna save it as the name game because that's basically all it does is asking your name so I just saved that on my program let me list it out one more time we got six lines of code here and it does something kind of cool messes with strings messes with length actually let's do one more thing let's have it um, chop your middle initial into one letter and then let's also have it show you your um, complete initials and so we're going to mess around with the left string um, stuff right so let's do this let's do line 70 now line 70 is going to say um, so we're going to do fi string equals uh, left string left parenthesis first name comma one right parenthesis uh, 75 we're gonna say uh, MI for middle initial MI string equals left string M string for your middle uh, middle name comma one we just want one character okay 80 we're gonna say uh, last initial string equals left string Shift 8 is left parenthesis, left string, comma 1. Shift 9 is right parenthesis. Um, 90, we're going to print your name two different ways. We're going to say print um, your short, your shorter name is a space, end quote. And then we'll do our first name string, semicolon, space, quote, um, then we'll do middle initial string, semicolon, space, quote, space, quote, semicolon, um, last name string. So in this case here, I took the full first name, I just stuck in the middle initial, and then I used the full last name. And then for line 100, I'm going to say print your initials are, space, quote, semicolon. Then we'll do first initial, 
string, semicolon, middle initial string, semicolon, and last initial string, end. And so as we run this, what are we going to see here? What is your first name? My first name is Stephen, S-T-E-P-H-E-N. What is your middle name? Ray. What is your last name? Strobridge. Okay, here's my output here right now. Uh, your full name is Stephen Ray Strobridge. Your full name contains 21 characters. Your shorter name is Stephen R. Strobridge. Your initials are SRS. That's kind of cool, right? That is really putting all of the concepts together. We're not dealing with the book, just dealing with our brains now. This is what's called as uh, reading comprehension and applied learning. So as you learn how things work, take those concepts and put them to good use. Now, unfortunately, I can't list more than this. Um, so let's just list the first half of the, how do I get to my actual dash now? The dash is over here. Let's just like list one through 50. All right, so line 10 says input, what is your first name? Stores that in a variable F string. Line 20 says, what is your middle name? Stores that in a variable M strings. Line 30 says, what is your last name? Stores that in a variable L string. So we got F string for first name, M string for middle name, L string for last name. Three different strings, right? Now, then we're gonna go ahead, just to be clever, we're gonna grab the length of each of these names. So I'm gonna grab the length of my first name, the length of my middle name, the length of my last name. Then I'm gonna take those three variables and I'm gonna add them up into a number that I'll be labeling as a variable for NL, for name length. So your entire name length is a combination of your first name length, your middle name length, your last name length. Say so that 10 times fast. And that's stored in a variable called NL for name length. Line 50 says print your full name is and it's taking three different strings that we input and it's just kind of putting them together on screen and saying F string, space M string, space L string. And I'm using uh, semicolons to stick everything together so there's not uh, floating spaces between variables. Um, and now I'm gonna see my full name. I could have also said like FN strings equals and added up these things and then printed that as a string. Uh, six of one, seven of the other, right? So we did all that. So let's now list um, 51 through 100, through 199. I don't remember how many lines I have on here right now. So line 50 then says, um, you know, print your full name. We just looked at that. Okay. Line 60 says your full name contains NL characters. NL, we established right here, is the sum of first name, middle, uh, first length, middle length, last length, right? So it's just being fancy and showing off saying, hey man, I know how long your name is, nee, 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 right? So your um, full name contains NL characters. Now we're figuring out your initials. So your first initial is the left string of your first name string, and we only want one character. Your middle initial string is the left string of your middle name string, and we want one character for that. And then your last initial is the left string of your last name string. We just need one character for there. Now to get fancy here, I printed a variation of your name. I printed your full first name, just your middle initial, and then your full last name, saying that's your shorter name. I'm not printing your full for your full middle name, just your middle initial. And now I'm getting really fancy here and saying, and here's your initials. Here's your three letters, which is your first initial, middle initial, last initial. Kind of a cool little program. Just thought of that one on the drive home today. And I thought that might be a neat way to take this whole idea of gathering input, gathering string data, manipulating the string data, and presenting the string data in a way that mimics um, intelligence, where we are now thinking about what our computer's memory contains, and we're now presenting this information to the user in a way that shows that we're thinking about what you're doing and we're trying to um, display things to you that are a little bit more interactive and kind of comprehensive, right? So let's run it one more time. So um, what is my first name? Johan. I don't know how to spell Johan, but we're going to spell it that way. What is your middle initial? Your middle name Sebastian. What is your last name? Bach, right? I know I spelled all that crap wrong because I can't spell. So there we go. Your full name is Johann Sebastian Bach. Your full name contains 17 characters. Your shorter name is Johann S. Bach, and your initials are YSB. Of course, I don't think that's how you spell Johann or Sebastian. Probably not even Bach, but who cares? You get the idea. Cute little program. Program only takes up, you know, not that many lines of code. And hopefully this is helping to further 
um, solidify some understandings on some of these concepts. My whole purpose of doing this was twofold. Number one, I wanted to um, reintroduce myself to the language because I haven't touched this programming thing in 35 years. Um, number two, you know, I was hoping that maybe somebody else might find this interesting. And then number three, what I really want to do is I want to write a program. I want to write a game because I used to make a lot of games when I was a kid. So the goal of this is to learn the language and write a game and make it kind of a crowdsource interactive thing where you, everybody can kind of chime in as we're learning this together. Hey, this would be cool if we use this routine to make our game or let's take this topic here that we learned and let's make a game based on that type of logics or commands. And by the way, we're only about two chapters away from getting into graphics and sound where things will become a lot more visual, a lot less text based. So we're getting into some cool stuff here. I can't wait. Um, i am kind of got the bug to do basic again, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I am OG Stevie Stro. Don't forget to watch my gaming videos. Don't forget to watch the color computer videos, color computer interviews, color computer gameplay videos. We got a new series now called Coco Talk, where we're doing a Sunday talk show, um, talking about Coco stuff. And you know, I play all kinds of other games too, besides color computer games. I play all kinds of retro games and modern games and Minecraft and PC games and stuff like that. So there's a little something for just about everybody on my channel. So make sure you check out my tons of content. I've got well over a thousand videos. I've got hundreds of hours of things to watch. So, um, and spread the word, share it with your friends, let them know. All right, so this was an off book, just random little program, just off the top of my head. I hope you liked it. I hope it um, made sense and was maybe kind of fun to put these concepts to the test. Looking forward to hearing what you have to say. So throw out a comment and let the conversations begin. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.